hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i did this full face of one size by patrick star so if you guys want to see what products i use to get this beat then let's go ahead and get into the video <laughs> of the video i'm gonna be doing a full face of one size beauty um now um i did my brows already um one size does have brow products but you guys know me i'm ride or die for my benefit and my morphe brow products right now i did pick up the new turn up the base bbb cream and the bbb stands for blurring beauty balm so i thought it was going to be like a tenant moisturizer similar to like what jacqueline came out with but this is supposed to have like a little bit more coverage i am going to be testing out the one size visionary palette and i have never used this palette i've had it in my collection for a minute now right now it's currently on sale for 21 dollars, i believe um but this is the packaging and it does have um, a little flap um, that way you can easily grab it here so it's not straight and you just open it and it is a beautiful like neutral palette with pops of blue and you get a black to make it smoky i have very oily skin and you guys know patrick is a man okay clearly um so he has like a lot of texture and pores I'm oily, I have texture, and I have pores. Like, my pores aren't so bad right now. Um, my skin has been breaking out. Um, ever since I turned 27, like, my skin has just been going crazy. Before I prime my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm going to be priming using the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. And I love this stuff. This is definitely... Um, I would say right now it is my holy grail like I love it more than the Fenty just because it's a little bit more smoothing and this one's an ultra blurring pore refining primer with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out skin's texture as it grips makeup for flawless application and enhanced wear so I don't really notice that it's gripping um but it definitely smooths out the skin it comes with 35 milliliters or 12 fluid ounces i believe is what it says but it's like rubbed off because i use it so much but it's 35 milliliters and um you do squeeze it out and that's the texture and i just rub it together it's like a thicker um serum like gel hybrid And honestly, like for me, I can just go out with no makeup and just wear this primer if I wanted um, that just smooth effect. I'm just going to prime my eyes using my handy P. Louise base. This is in Rumor 2. So I'm going to be starting with this shade right here. It's called Taupe of My Game. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M35. It's just like a really fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to start that in the crease. And this is definitely a cool tone shade. It's very pigmented for like me only using like a little bit of it. And Ace is just being nosy. So he's going to be walking back and forth probably. So don't mind him. This definitely builds up nice. Next, I'm going to be mixing Booked and brownie and i'm taking a m 
433 and I'm just going to be focusing that on the outer V. Just build that up. And then I'm slowly bringing that shadow inward. For a little bit more drama, I'm going to take Turban Legend and it has a little stamp on here of like a face with a turban and you guys know that Patrick, you know, rocks a turban whenever he's not doing his like glam transformations wearing his wigs. So I'm just going to take a little bit and smoking that outer V a little bit more. And all these shades really blend seamlessly. I really didn't have any issue blending and I'm taking like the lightest hand with these shades. I'm not trying to go heavy handed. Um, but of course, like you can build up the color if you wanted. Uh, I'm just going to cut my crease. I'm gonna go into Booked. And I'm just going to blend right here so there's a transition. Patrick has his um, eye poppers and I picked up Pea House and the packaging is literally stunning it's so cute it's a flat flat applicator this is what pea house looks like so it's like pinky champagne with glitter and you know this is pretty but i feel like i've seen it somewhere and i have okay elf has their um eye toppers and this is in flirty birdie same type of applicator but it's literally the same color the elf one has a little bit more silver glitter than the one size but it's literally the same color so if you were looking at his eye toppers get the elf one save you some coin it's literally a dupe looking at this palette this shade here rebel gray just catches my eye so i'm going to be using that one just because i am curious to see what it's going to look like on dark skin it's like a cool toned blue with like purple shift in it and that is rebel gray so it's really pretty I'm just going to take that and apply it to my eye. And as you can see, she is definitely pigmented. It almost reminds me of that color in the um, BFF palette with BH Cosmetics. Um, the Alondra, Alondra and Elsie palette, that blue shade in there, I haven't tried it, but I feel like this shade is like very similar to that. And that is dry. I'm going to be using my one size Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist. I'm going to use this to wet my brush to see what the shade is going to look like wet. This spray is really good for all skin types. Um, if you want to refresh your makeup and things like that, just so it doesn't look powdery. This is the spray. It's a very nice mist. Ooh, Pat. Ooh, yes. It definitely intensified that shade. pops a little more. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I definitely can. 
I will say, swirling your brush in here, you do get like fallout in the pan. I don't really have any fallout on my face though. I'm gonna be taking the Point Made Bodacious Black 24 hour eyeliner pen and this eyeliner is amazing. This does not dry out and I've had it for a few months and it's really thin and skinny so you can get like the perfect um, eyeliner. Um, it's super black and it's matte. Patrick does have eyelashes, but his lashes are just intimidating for me, but I still want to do a dramatic lash. I'm going to be taking these Lash 7 lashes, and this is in the style Angel. So it's giving me Lily Lashes Mykonos. So that is what I'm going to be wearing today. And... Um, this is the Lash 7. You can use my code MUAShy to get some money off. While I'm waiting for my lashes to be ready, let's go ahead and get into the skin. So Patrick has come out with his new Turn Up The Base BBB Beauty Blurring Balm Cream. And this is a buttery three-in-one texture solver that glides on and gets to work transforming the appearance of the skin from the ultimate natural beat and flawless soft matte finish. So honestly, when I saw that he was coming out with like a BB cream, I was like, really Patrick? I was expecting like full coverage. Like I want a foundation. I don't want a BB cream, but you know, right now everyone's into that you know, no makeup, makeup look, BB and CC creams and tinted moisturizers. And that has never been my vibe. Um, but <clears throat> this is Patrick Star, okay? This is his brand. So he is always gonna come through with the coverage. So in his announcement video, he said that he has put 11% pigment in it. So I'm, I feel more comfortable with his brand. Um, so I picked up the shade Dark to Golden and this is what it looks like. Actually pop it like that, but this is the shade and that's what it looks like. So this is gonna work for me. So I'm going to dot it all over. And it's very smooth, like velvet, velvet texture. I want like coverage. I'm going to be taking this Morphe times Ariel A24 brush and I am just going to blend her. And she does dry down fast, so you don't get too much play time with her. The texture is almost like um, the Juvia's Place foundation, but not as thick. And that did cover my little acne scars. And this is supposed to be a buildable um, like product. So if you want more coverage, then just add more layers. So you can still see like a little bit of my dark spots peeking through right here. So I'm just going to Add like a little bit more right in that area. And you can totally see 
just a difference in the it's not too matte where you're looking dry and it's not like natural either it doesn't have too much of a glow definitely very natural looking so wow that is just crazy the before and after and do the other side and i'm just using tapping motions so this is like a little dark for me but it's okay my skin looks extremely smooth the shade is like i said a little dark compared to my chest and my neck just a little bit but y'all know how i like to highlight so it's okay i'm just gonna take my beauty sponge this is the dsmd beauty sponge and oh my god this sponge is super super soft it's softer than the elf one i know andre renee said that with her video with her tools and brushes and honestly it is it's almost like that velvet texture but it's super super soft but you know not too bouncy and so i'm just going to um you know bounce it all up to get any excess um foundation off now my skin looks so smooth like a baby's bottom and that is what patrick is going to give us he is going to give us the smooth you know to help with texture and going to give us the coverage because this is definitely coverage patrick did come out with a concealer it's called the turn up the base butter silk concealer and um i picked up the shade dark three and this is gonna be pretty much like a foundation shade which when i bought it that's what i was looking for just like something i could conceal with the applicator is like a triangular doe foot and it's like really cool really so you can get in there that is the shade of the concealer and then I'm just going to compare it next to my Juvia's Place Concealer. So the Juvia's Place Concealer in the number 12 is definitely more golden. And this is definitely, you know, it's still golden, just a little darker. I'm still going to try it, but I'm definitely going to have to lighten up this shade. And it is definitely giving coverage. I can't even see my dark circles already. Just like my little darkness here, it's covered. So it's definitely going to give you coverage. And it is a little lighter, which, you know, works. But it's not as light as I want. <laughs> I'm going to be taking that sponge and blending it. And I've never used this concealer. Ooh. My under eyes look amazing. Look at that. And I would say this does um, dry down fast. So it's easy if you're like on the go and you just want to put on product and blend. You don't need to let it sit. And it's pretty much set, so wow i think if you're dry skin you definitely won't need to set it but because i'm oily i will but i'm gonna go into my elf hydrating concealer and this is in the shade medium warm and you know i'm just gonna add some brightness 
little down the nose. And I would say layering it on top of um, that concealer did help it um, dry down a little faster. So you won't need to wait long or let it um, sit too long on the skin. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite powders. This is the One Size Translucent Powder, and I love this, okay? Now, my skin is already looking smooth, but this powder is like a must-have. I feel like everyone needs this, and I even bought like a backup of it. So... I'm just going to press that here to bake. And I love this powder because it's not too brightening and it really is translucent. And it is very smoothing. So that's what I'm really looking for is like a lot of um, smoothing. He does have a powder puff that you can apply the powder with. Um, I usually like to take the puff at the end of my makeup application just to press everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face using the Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation and this is in Dark 4 Golden. And this is what Dark Four looks like. I feel like I could have gone um, with dark two, but you know, it's fine. I'm always like in between shades. So I have like a variety of um, shade colors. So I'm taking my Morphe E1 and I am just going to press that in. But I like this um, powder too. I always use it to set my foundation. It does um, give good coverage. You could wear it on its own if you wanted, but that's not my vibe. I do, I'm a full coverage or no makeup type of girl. So yeah, but I'm just waiting on Patrick to come out with bronzers, okay? Bronzers and contour powders. I mean, you can use this powder to do that but you know because it has good coverage I'm just going to take a little bit of that face powder and I'm just going to use that as my nose contour I'm going to use the Morphe Times Ariel A14, and I'm actually gonna be taking a lighter shade of his foundation powder. This is the Turn Up The Base Versatile Foundation Powder, and this is in medium 5G. So this is Patrick's, um, I believe it's his face, his face shade. So it's gonna be my highlight shade, so it's very golden. Um, so I'm just gonna be uh, loading up my brush. And I'm just gonna be using that to dust away that powder. And as you can see, the face is definitely coming together. And honestly, I don't think I've seen my skin smoother. So I'm just going to do my waterline. I'm going to be taking his Point Made Busty Brown 24, 24 Hour Gel Eyeliner Crayon Pencil. And this is what it looks like. Just all brown. It's so beautiful. You could probably use this as a lip liner too, but it's 
gel. It's so pretty. It almost reminds me of the LA Girl eyeliner and I love that one, but I'm gonna be taking this brown and just um, doing my waterline and it definitely glides on and has pigment. Like this is a nice chocolate brown shade. I'm just going to smudge it to make sure that, you know, we're not looking cakey. I'll be taking the Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray my face. I feel like all skin types, like I said, can use this spray. I will say whenever I use the mattifying spray, my skin is just set for the day. I'm gonna be lining my lips with this Sephora Gel Lip Liner in Molasses. And because Patrick is a Mac boy, okay, um, I picked up some lipsticks from Mac. I haven't shopped in Mac in a hot minute, but they have these powder kiss lipsticks and they come in like matte black packaging. We have Teddy 2.0 and it looks like that and I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. That's Teddy 2.0. Next, we have Turn to the Left. And, ooh, she's vampy. That is Turn to the Left. And then I have Impulsive. And that is what Impulsive looks like. and that's impulsive so i feel like that's what i'm gonna go with today so just going to and this is so smooth on the lips and it's not like drying on the lips but it's still matte but it's like a velvet matte to finish setting the skin i'm going to be taking the one size on till dawn. This is a mattifying waterproof setting spray. So your makeup is gonna be locked in. This is like an aerosol, like a hairspray. So you hold it and just do it um, like hairspray. Um, I don't really notice a scent. Some people say that there's a scent to it, but for me, it's not like overpowering or anything. I have to have like some type of highlighter on my skin. And I'm just going to take that powder puff and press that in. And as you can tell, like it definitely mats the skin. So and pressing it in just like really locks in your makeup so it can last all day long. And there's really nothing on my powder puff after um, setting in my makeup, barely anything. So lock in your makeup so that your makeup can last all day, even with wearing a mask. So let's go over the product. The primer, definitely a must if you have oily skin or if you have a lot of texture. Um, this BBB Beauty Blurring Balm, like it is not your average skin tint. It is not your average BB or CC cream. It definitely came through with the coverage, still looking like skin. I would definitely have to say you give this baby a try. So like I said, I picked up the shade dark to golden and that is the shade. I'll be able to use this shade in the summertime and I will list my, um, foundation shades in my description box. That way you can see if this shade is going to work for you. 
um, like I said initially it was um, a little dark but when I highlighted my skin it looked fine but if you want something true to your skin maybe go a shade down uh, the concealer I actually really like um, it's very smoothing I love all of his products it is definitely in my top three holy grail products um, and he is low-key you know coming for my Fenty holy grail products and I'm not mad at it okay like Patrick is doing his thing he is killing it with these product releases and I'm loving everything about it, about his brand, what it stands for, the coverage. He's giving the girls what they want. Listening, he gives us the range, okay? He's here for oily skin. Really do love it. I love the eyeshadow. I love how pigmented it worked on. Um, I do think like there might be room for improvement for his shimmer formula but the mattes blend really nice the pigment is there i can't wait to see what else patrick star comes up with my face looks so smooth it really looks like a filter thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video